And now, a morning show short entitled Brooks Dillon. We begin at a networking event in Columbus, Ohio, after it has become the capital of the United States seat of the federal government. And so the senator eventually saw things my way. Brooks? Huh? You seem distracted. Was my tale not compelling enough for you? Oh, uh, sorry, Roger. I'm sure it was fascinating. You know, you haven't been yourself lately. Still out of my mind. Anything I can help with? No, it's personal. Ah, well, sometimes the personal has a way of folding into the professional. And if that's... Oh, no, 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 no. God, no. No offense, but this is not something I want to mix. Fair enough. If you change your mind, you'll know where to find me. Until then, I think I'd like to spend some time with someone who stays awake while I'm talking. No, yeah, I understand. Have fun. <sighs> Penny, for your thoughts? Uh, what? My awkward attempt to start a conversation. Oh, um, hi. Brooks Dillon. I know. Raymond Cosner. Uh, nice to meet you, Raymond. Wow. I did not make a good first impression. Pardon? Well, you're looking across the room. No, it's not you. Oh? Then what is it? How often do you come to these things? All the time. Yeah, me too. Do you like them? Hate them. They're the worst. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Why do we do them? Professional advancement? Yeah, but there are other ways to get ahead and make connections. Not as effectively. Well, someone should invent an alternative. They'd be a millionaire. Where can I invest? The mystery of the universe. So you've heard of me, huh? Of course. Who hasn't? Brooks Dillon, angel investor and community hero. I've been lucky with my money. Don't be modest. It doesn't suit you. How would you know? I can tell. You've done a lot of good with your wealth. Eh, helps me sleep at night. Ah, so you've done bad, too. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. But we all have skeletons in our closets. Really? What skeletons do you have? Me? Oh, nothing interesting. Not anymore, anyway. Sounds intriguing. When I was coming up in politics... Ah, I... politician. I should have known anyone that handsome should... You think I'm handsome? Uh, uh. No, not a politician. Uh, but I was involved in politics for a while, back when being what I am could have been a scandal. What are you? Gay. Oh, Ah, but now we're a dime a dozen. Doesn't even rate a news blurb when we come out. That's a good thing. Progress. And yet you're still in the closet. I am not. You are. If I was, how would you even know I was gay? I didn't until just a moment ago. Touché. You don't date? No. Why not? Too busy. Oh, come on, that's an excuse. It's the truth. No, the busiest people in the world still find time to date. Look, look, Ray. Raymond. I'm huh? Raymond. I don't like Ray. Reminds me of sunshine. Ray of sunshine. It doesn't suit me. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you, Raymond. Now, if you'll excuse oh, me, there I'm... There you go again. Again? Avoiding dating. I, I wasn't. Are you flirting with me? Yes. Wasn't it obvious? No. It wasn't. I apologize. I can be a little socially awkward. Me too. It doesn't seem like it. I've gotten good at hiding it. I haven't. Part of the reason I'm not in politics anymore. And the other part? Not something I talk about on a first date. Oh. Are we on a date now? No, but I'd like to be. How's Saturday? You're very direct. Yes, I am. So is that a yes? No. Is that a no? N no. What do you do, Raymond? I'm a fixer. Ah, that would be my cue to go. I'm not trying to fix you. What's wrong with me? I mean, fixing is my profession, but I don't fix people, I fix situations. I don't have any situations that need fixed. If you did, I wouldn't be flirting with you. How do you know I don't? It's my job to know things. So you know all the dirt on me? I do. And honestly, yes, you've done a few shady dealings, but you're still one of the cleanest rich guys I know. I think this conversation is officially over right now. I hope it's not. You come over here and tell me I'm dirty, and then... Do you then... deny it? What, what would be the point? You said you already know. 
What is this? Some sort of blackmail attempt? Not at all. I just wanted you to know I know the things you're ashamed of and I'm still interested. How do you know I'm ashamed of anything? You've tried to make up for it. I haven't It's tri- my job. But I'm not interested in you professionally, anyway. I'd rather get to know you personally. Why? Because when you run in the circles we do, you meet a lot of bad people, and you're not one of them. Then why not date outside of the circles we run in? I don't have time for that, nor do you, which is why you don't date at all, I suspect. Maybe. I thought so. Now how do I know you're not a bad person? Ah, well you don't. But I'm telling you I'm not, and I know you're a good judge of character, so... What do you think? You don't seem bad. So Saturday? Ah, uh, I don't know. 7 p.m., Hyde Park. I already made a reservation. That's presumptuous. I know people. You don't know that I'll actually meet you there. You're right. I don't. I'm just hoping you will. I'll let you get back to brooding now. I wasn't brooding. I'll see you on Saturday. See you Saturday. It's all been done radio hour number 391. Morning show number 16, Brooks Dillon. This episode was written by Jerome Wetzel and directed by Chase McCants. It starred Ryan Yohe as Brooks Dillon, Darren Essler as Roger Lark, and Shane Stefanchik as Raymond. The episode was narrated by Darren Essler. Our Foley artist was Jerome Wetzel, and our Foley technician was Anna Stiles. Our technical director is Shane Stefanchik. Our music director is Kristen Green. Theme songs are composed by Nathan Haley, with lyrics by Jerome Wetzel. This podcast was edited by Chris Allen. Check out our website at iabdpresents.com. We want to thank Circle 270 Media, which this podcast is a part of and Boxland Media, our host performance space. Don't forget to support us at patreon.com forward slash IAVD. A mere $2 donation gets you access to past and upcoming live streaming shows, as well as exclusive bloopers and video. Have a great week. It's All Been Done presents Who's Got the Time?